Hey YouTubers, this is the Roaming Prepper. Today, I got some chicken on sale. Uh, it's a pretty good package. I'm gonna season and store it. I'll be right back after the credits and we'll see how I do it. This is the roaming prepper and I had a great find uh, I got chicken for under well right at a buck seventy a pound uh, it's a nice boneless skinless chicken breast can use it in a bunch of stuff whether it's in an instant pot in the house or if you lose power you do it over an open fire lots of uses for this kind of food so we're gonna season it and we're gonna store it and we're gonna freeze it for long-term storage once you've done it the way we're doing it, it should last 18 months to two years. And again, always do your own research. Uh, you might find better information than I have. So, let's get to it. Hey everybody. Well, first and foremost, when you're dealing with raw chicken, make sure you clean your hands beforehand. And also, after you're done, make sure you wipe your countertop, if not with like a Clorox wipe use some kind of disinfectant spray. Uh, the COVID is bad, but I promise you salmonella will not make you very happy at all. So what I'm gonna do, I got these really great pieces of chicken here. And today's seasoning, what I'm gonna do with it is, uh, in theory, a bonus chicken in there. All right, um, we're gonna go with allspice, which, or I'm sorry, um, Adam's Reserve, uh, peppercorn and garlic for these four, and I'm going to use um, kosher salt as an add-on. So I'm going to get a little, uh, I'll put my spices in here, because once I start really getting chicken on my hands, uh, that's going to get nasty. So anyway, I like to do, and you got to be careful because a little bit of salt goes a long way. Kosher salt comes in really handy also for um, cleaning your cast irons. If you watch my cast iron video, uh, I should mention that. And if I don't, I'll be sure to mention it on the next one. You're probably wondering why the roaming prepper has so many food preps. And basically when I'm not traveling, this is kind of something I'll be doing on the side, aside from my like job job. In the case, a little bit of salt on both sides. And then I'm using the garlic peppercorn. And then, and I'm not gonna do them all like that. I'm gonna make sure those bad boys are ready to go. I'm gonna put them over here because we don't need, we're not doing all of them like that. Now these guys, I'm gonna do just classic salt and pepper. And that's a big piece of chicken, wow. Um, Again, when you get chicken, especially if you find it on sale like this, I'm gonna contaminate all this stuff. I guess I'm wiping everything down today, folks. This one I'm doing classic table pepper. I'm also gonna do salt on it. Chicken seems to go on sale right around January, February, for whatever reason. I don't know the market uh, reasons behind it, and I'm gonna have to look into it a little more. When you find it on sale, you use a food saver, you season, you preserve, and uh, you can take advantage of those uh, better prices. Okay guys, so we've got the food saver out now. I kind of wiped down everything. Again, salmonella, not our friend. And I'm gonna kind of get a measure. I go into more detail about the food savers in one of my other videos, but you know, I'm just kind of eyeball it and say, okay, that's good. Now, one tip with this bad boy is make sure you leave yourself a little bit of room on each side. Don't cut the bag too small or else what you wind up with is uh, 
it, it won't have enough room to seal properly and you'll basically waste a big chunk of the bag. Uh, do the seal, find the end I want to seal, and oops, and then pinch yourself. There we go. I'm going to let that bad boy seal itself up. And then a couple of seconds it'll release. And there we go. And uh, got a nice seal on it. At this point, I'm going to use tongs. What I want to do is try and get the chicken as far down in there without making a mess at the opening. Pop this bad boy open. And you're going to probably watch video of me dropping chicken on the floor. Oh, pulled it off. Look at that. I'm going to lay it flat a little bit so it's not a complete disaster. That wasn't very graceful. There we go. And just put it in there. And it'll start sealing. Now if you don't get a good seal across the bottom, it'll just keep going. It won't ramp up like you're hearing. There you go. Let that bad boy seal. And there's your first package. I just gotta label it with what the chicken is seasoned with so we don't surprise ourselves with the wrong spices. But in any case, that's a down and dirty quick instructional on seasoning and storing some chicken. Again, according to Food Saver Company, once you've done this and you freeze it, You've got 18 months to two years to use it and you won't get that frost, uh, it's not frostbite, it's um, that frosting effect on your meat that just basically makes it taste awful when you cook it. So guys, that's a quick tutorial, a few tips and there you go. So this was about, shoot about eight pounds of meat. So you figure roughly two pounds per package. Uh, two people in the house, even if you have more, you could split them in half. You make some rice on the side, which also can be long-term prep. Really quick meals, uh, obviously not cooked, so make sure you cook them 165 degree internal temperature, barbecue, grill, bake, however you do it. But right now for, you know, just two of us, this will be enough chicken probably for shoot if we mix it with other stuff a couple of weeks to a month uh, we don't eat the meat that fast but again if you have a bigger family you buy bigger packages you save them like this especially if you have kids which we did have kids they're all grown now and uh, yeah it's a great way to save some money and again remember from what I'm hearing January February tends to be when a lot of chicken products go on sale for whatever reason so take advantage of that uh, if you do find other seeds Seasons of the year where chicken or beef go on sale and you see it consistently, you know, comment below and, you know, share it with your fellow preppers. Other than that, this is the Roaming Prepper. I hope I helped you out today. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. I always appreciate uh, I was excited. I got a few subscribers the other day and I was quite thrilled. So, uh, but until next time, be safe. Pay attention if you're traveling, Godspeed, and uh, always be ready. Until next time.